come back to further submissions and claim further submissions and claim. Encourage us more to share our video anywhere you see it and uh, subscribe if you have not subscribed before and also make a comment after viewing any of our video. At this present, we, at this moment, we have over 400 videos on our channel, which means you can come here and learn any topic of your choice, mathematics, physics, and chemistry. Just in case you want to reach us, you can make use of this line 2348034. Nine 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 zero. With this line, you can call us. You can WhatsApp us. Um, you can WhatsApp us, and also Telegram is allowed. Yeah, Telegram is allowed. Either of the three. Um, for your information, at this moment we are having our online classes. Uh, at any level, just contact us. We will surely get back to you. On this video, I'll be working on modulo arithmetic. Modulo arithmetic. Uh, just the topic is a very simple topic and a very nice topic which somebody needs to understand. It's similar to binary operation in normal mathematics that we're talking about operation star, operation, whatever, whatever. It are just similar. They are even the same thing. Let me use the word not the same, but they are similar. They are very, very close. Now, at this moment, I'll be working on these are the outline of this video. The first one, definition. The second one, addition table, multiplication table and uh, uh, basic operation, you know, that's what I'll work on. While the next video, I'll be working on the, um, on the algebra part of it, that something is missing as on this. And let me tell you something, in modulo arithmetic, in modulo arithmetic, what is very important here is that uh, we are applying remainder theorem. Now, uh, if I have a number like this, uh, in 20 okay for instance 20 divided by 3 now if i have 20 divided by 3 normally i will have how many times does this go i will it will go in uh, how many times it will go in uh, um three times four i will have now three times four mode what now remainder what it remain remainder two and uh, mode mode uh, now, what mode am I operating on? I'll be up working on the mode 3. Now, that is what I mean by modulus. Now, what you are talking, talking about here is that uh, the remainder and the what you are using to divide it. it. That is very, very, very important. That is what is common, uh, common to modulus. At this point, we'll be talking about the remainder. We'll be even applying, I mean, make use of remainder uh, very well. Now, just like... Um, uh, we are talking about remainder, which are division and other things, which is very, very important. Now, for your information, if I have something like uh, uh, mod 3, okay, look at mod 3 now. Mod 3, mod 3. Normally, this is the set that will be included 0, 1, 2. Now, it means there will be any number greater or equal to what? Three on the number on the on the set of the numbers. That is what I mean by mode three. It means the number will be less than equals to what three. Look at what I just finished doing here now. Look at what I just finished operating here now. I must not get a number equal or greater than the what the mode. If I have that, I've done rubbish. Please take note of that rubbish very well. For instance, if I have mode mode six, it means zero one two. Three, four, five. That is the set of the number. That's what we are talking about here. It means I must not have a number equal or greater than six on the set of the number. With all this, that is what I mean by uh, mode this. Now, generally, if I have in term of n for in form of mode n, what I'm just trying to say here is that uh, I'll be having is zero, one, two. Three, four, and n minus one. It means a number before what n itself. That is n minus one. Now that is what I mean by mode, mode law. I mean mode law arithmetic. Please take note of this statement very, very well. Now at this junction, what I will be working towards 
mostly we'll be working on symbols. Now, symbols, the symbols, the commonly used symbols are uh, on mode, just like the same thing of binary operation, but um, this is not quite, uh, they're quite different. Now, what I'll be making use of, I'll be working on, we call it congress, congress, or you call it equivalent. Please take note of it. We call it congress, congress, or we call it equivalent. Equivalent. Now, that is number one. Number two, I can have my, and I can have something like this. Now, this is what multiplication operation. This is multiplication, multiplication operator. Let me use the word operator. Let's use operator. And this one is what addition, addition operator. Please take note of those things very well. Now, some system some people i mean some system will be given to you some i mean some problem will be given to you some people may decide to decide to define the what you have to do some may not define it for instance if i have a operation i mean let me use capital letter a operate with b equals to a plus b uh, plus 2b minus a b now at this point i mean a b at this point um this is the operation why this is the definition of what operation and you go the same way you go on your binary operation system now before i go further let me okay now i think i've done the I've justified this on the definition now before i enter uh, other things let me quickly explain addition table because this time around You'll be working along mostly you'll be working along with your table now in my addition table what is okay i have to rub this in to, in to have a better result and now look at addition table now for instance uh, look at this problem look at this question okay look at this question it's a very simple one uh please let's try to solve it but the problem here is that um, um, it's talking about multiplication. It means I want to use this opportunity to explain multiplication table. Now, when I have copy and complete the multiplication table, modulo 5 on set of, this is the set of the number. Look at the set. Now, this is the set of the number, which is uh, I have 1, 2, this is 4, sorry. This should be 4, and this should be 4. Now, that is the set of the number. Because we are talking about mode 5. We are talking about mode 5. It means, what I will just do, this is the first one. This is the second one. Both of them will operate together to generate this. Now, for instance, 1, operate with 1, become 1. What does that mean? 1 times 1 equals to 1. 1 operate with 2 equals to 2. It means 1 multiplied by 2 equals to 2. 1 multiplied by 3 equals to 3. 1 multiplied by 3 equals to 3. Now, 1 multiplied by 4, it means what is missing here also will be 4. Now, the next one, it will be 2. Also, this one will be what? 4. Take note of that. 1 times, it means um, we are talking about um, um, 4 multiplied by 1 equals to 4. And also 3 multiplied by 1 equals to uh, 3. Now, the next one, don't forget, you must not get a number greater or equal to the, the, modulo, the modulo in the table. If not, you have done something wrong. Look at this one now. If I have 2, operate with what? 3, but not a multiplication. 2 times 3 equals to 6. There's no way to write this because 6... Is greater than this number, the mode law. It's greater than the mode law. It means I will divide by what? By five. One remainder one. It means it will go one times remainder one. Now your remainder, that is what you need. It means I will write one here. Now you move on to the next one. This multiplied by this, it will be four. I mean, it will be eight. Eight divided by five. One remainder three. Now. Remainder is what you need. And the next one, 
I'll be having this 3 multiplied by 3, it will be 9, 9 divided by 5, it will be um, 1 times remainder 4. Can you see? I'll be having 1 times remainder 4. Where am I there? Sorry. Oh, 3 multiplied by 3 to be 1 times remainder 4. That is what I will hear. I will be having there. This multiplied by this, 3 multiplied by 3. I mean, 3 multiplied by 2, which is 6, divided by what? 5. 1 remainder 1. It means here will be 1. Can you see the way I'm doing it? And the last one, 4 multiplied by 3, it will be 12. 4 multiplied by 3, this, it will be 2 times remainder 2. 2 times remainder 2, I will write the remainder. By so doing that, I've successfully complete the table. I've successfully complete the table of what? Of the modulus. The next thing I need to do, there are some problems from this, from the table, from the, uh, from the table, sorry, it will be from the table, from the table, solve, solve, expression 2n, operate with 4, equivalent to what, uh, equivalent to 3. Now, how do I go about this? Please, do you understand, do you understand the way I compute the table? Now, how do I solve this thing? It's very, very simple. What you just need to do, try to understand what the question is saying. Now, look at this. You are talking about two. Let me call the table, sorry. I have to, my body is not very big. Now, two and operate with four, it will be equals to what, three. Now, look at this very well. I know that um, if I have 2, 2, what is giving us 3? This is giving me 3. This is giving me 3. You have to be very, very wise this time around. Now, you will now look at it that uh, if I multiply 2 with 2, 2 multiplied by 2, it will be 4. 4 operates with 4, it can never be 3. Look at I just assume that n equals to uh, 2. 2 operates with 2. 2 multiplied by 2 operates with 4. Can it be equivalent to what 3? The answer is no. Because of what? 4 operates with 4 will surely give me 1. Can you see? 4 operates with 4 will give me 1. It means it can never be 2. Okay, if I use 3, 3 with 2, 3 multiplied, that will be 6. 6 is in the table. No, there is no six in the table. It means it can never be three. The answer is between zero, one, and two. Now, let's try one. One multiplied by one. One multiplied by one, give me two. Two operate with three and with four. What is two operate with four? Two, two operate with four, it give me three. Two operate with 4, it means my n equals to 1. My n equals to 1. Please take note of this. It's very, very common in most of these exams. Take note of this uh, way. I mean, this the way I'm handling it. Now, the next one is that that is number 1. It means my n equals to 1. The next one, find the value of this. Look at Operate with what? equivalent to 2. Now, how do I go about this also? It's a very simple one. Thank God for getting my hand. Now, this is another question, which is number 2. What I will just do is that uh, 2 operate with something, 2 operate with any number that will give me 2. 2 operate it. I know that um, if I have 2 operate with uh, okay, now I will look at this very well. 2 is operating with another number and it gives me 2. Let me check what 2 is. I know that 2 operates with 1, it will give me 2. 2 operates with 1, it will give me 2. It means 2 operates with 1 equals equivalent to 2. Take note of this. This is not my answer. Now, I will now move on to the next one. What I'm having here, it means n operates with I mean, 3 operate with n equals to 1. That is what I will do. 
Because what is there is what? Is one. I will not continue. What should I do? What can I operate with? Um, three. Three operate with a number that will give me one. Three operate with a number that will give me a one. Uh, three operate with uh, two. It will give me one. Three operate with two. Look at three operate with two. It will surely give me one. Very first one. Another one is what? Four operate with four, which is it contradicts because of we are not, talking about we are talking about three here now. It means what I'm trying to say is that uh, my n equals to two, my n equals to two. It means three operate with two equals to one. It means my n equals to two. That is all. My n equals to two. That is what I need to find out for. That is all. That is all what I need. Can you see how it's being? Uh, it's very easy to operate on, but be very wise, be be very very intelligent. Take note that, I mean, take note that you must not get a number greater than or equals to the modulo on the table. Very very important. And this is how to handle something like this, similar something like this. Just calm down. You just think on towards your table. Everything you are doing, you must think. Related to your what to your table. Okay, now before I end this class, let me try to show um, addition table. Okay, look at addition table. Okay, let me show show you addition table. This is modulo four. Take note of this. Now, if the set will be the set I was talking about, those are the set of the number will be 0, 1, 2, and 3. That is that is the set of the number. Now, to generate my table here, this is what I will do. Don't forget, I'm talking about addition. It means operation plus will be here. Now, it's 0, 1, 2, 3. It's 0, 1, 2, 3. Don't take note of this. The same way of multiplication. You must not get a number greater or equal to 2. I mean to 4 on the table. This plus this 1. This plus this. I mean, sorry, is 0, 1, 2, 3. And take note of this. When you are talking about addition, you have to start from your what? From this zero but if it is multiplication you more you may neglect the zero because zero times zero give us a zero zero times n number give us a zero but when it's addition please start from what is zero value take note of that information this plus this two three this plus this become four now three one plus three equals to four you must not get a number equals to four because we are talking about mood Four. It means four divided by four. It will be one remainder is zero. I will have a zero here. What you just need is the zero, which is the remainder. I will continue by having this will be three, and this becomes two plus two equals to four. And I must not write four. Four divided by four, which is equals to what? Uh, one times remainder is zero. You are not not to concern you with this. You just need the remainder is zero, and this plus this become five. Five divided by four, one remainder one. That is one. That is how you will be doing it like that. And also this one become uh, four. It means four divided by four becomes zero, and this become um, one. This one become two. That is addition table. Can you see the way it is? I will be adding up that before I uh, before we continue. Let me show one or two. Uh, the one of um, that will shows us to operate on, I mean, how to go, like the one that has definition. Look at this problem. Look at this problem. Okay, look at this question. It's a very simple one. Uh, let me read out the question. An operation star, an operation star is defined on the set of set of x. Look at the set one, three, five, six by n 
n operate with n equals to now listen to me this is called the operation why this is called definition of the operation can you see this is well defined n plus n i mean n plus n plus 2 in mode 7 it means this particular set of number are operating in a what mode 7 you must not get a number greater or less i mean greater or equal to what 7 on the system on the table where m and n an element of what real number i think you know what is called real number or oh, i've done a lot of work on real number number one draw a table for the operation that is number one number two use the table to find the true set of three operates three, three uh, operates with n equivalent to what three and n operates with n equals to three it's a very simple one now let's try to solve this simple problem the first thing is the table. I need to type because the board is not much. The first thing is the table. How do I go for the table? This is the set of the number. I think uh, I will generate my table of my star by having something like this. Very, very important. I have one, I have three, I have five, and I have six. Those are the things that are there. One, three, five, six. Very, very important. Now, I don't need to stress myself because the set is already given to me. Assuming the set is not given, that is when I will now start from is 0, 1, 2, 3. But the man has defined the set. That is what you need to understand. And 1, 3, 5, aha. Uh -huh. Now, very, very important. Since I have this, I cannot generate the number that I'm uh, working towards. Now, now, the first thing I will need to do is that uh, take note of this, of this very well. We are talking about n operate with n equals to m plus n plus 2 on mode 7. Now, what am I saying here? If I have, this one will be what? My, my m will be in this side. My n will be in this side. Take note of that. That is my n. Now, m I mean, M row, N row. Take note of that. M row, N row. Now, I will now continue by having 1 plus 1 plus 1 because of 1 operates with what? 1. 1 operates with 1, which is 1 plus 1 plus 2, which it will be 4. I will have 4 here. Because 4 is not up to 7, it means I'm free to write that 4 down. The next thing I will have... Um, the next one, I'll be having uh, 1 plus 1, 1 plus uh, 3 plus 2. This plus this, 4 plus this. Oh, you know, this is the operation. This is the addition that is outside this, and which is going to be what? 6. 6 is not up to 7. I will write it down. Most is not up to seven, you are free to work with it. I mean, to work along with it. Now, the next thing I'll be talking of, I'll be talking about what? Uh, what is my hem? Five and plus, I mean, operate with uh, one plus two, which I will have five plus one because we have an addition operation. This plus this, it will be it will be six, six plus two, it will be eight, eight. Divided by 7, 1 times remainder 1. 1 times remainder 1. Remainder is what I need. The number of times is not concerning. Now, the next thing I will write is now, uh, I'm talking about 1, operate with 6. 1 plus 6 plus 2, which I will be having 7, 9. 9 divided by 7, because 9 is greater than 7, which is going to be 1, remainder 2. That is how you will keep doing it. If I have to do this, I will have six, I will have one, I will have uh, um, three, I will have four. Try what I just explained to you now, which you will get. Make sure you try it because at this point, I'm just supplying it. I'm, uh, not, I'm not explaining it to you. And this last one will be two, four. I hope I've not made any mistake. That is just it. Don't forget, that is what you just need. It means I've successfully computed the table.
Does that really complete the table? Now, since I have the table, how do I know that what I've done is right or wrong? The first thing you share, look at this bar, I mean, the value of on the table. Is, it, is there anyone greater than seven or equals to seven? If not, you are partially correct. Now, look, go and check your, maybe your remainder and everything, whether you do it right or not. Since that is um, done, I will now move on to the next question, which is number two. Number two, now, this is number one. This is not solution number one. Number two, which is number two, I'm looking at. Now, you are asked to use the table to find the two set of this operate with this. Three operate with N that will be converted to what? Or conjugate it to be what? Three. I will move on. Three, it means this is my three. Operate with an, a number that will give us three. Look at three. Operate with three, surely give me one. Three operate with three, give us one. Now, I'm looking for a number that will operate with three, that will give me three. Look at three operate with five, it give me three. Now, look at three operate with five, it's equivalent to what? Three. Can you see what I'm saying? Now, this is very important. You must learn to do all this. Three is the first, which is your hand. My n will be what five. It give me three. Look at is there another number that does that? If not, look at and also three operate with five. It give me three. It means my n, my n equals to five. My n equals to five. That is number a. B. I will be looking around also. N operate with what? N that will give me three. It means a number that operates with himself that gives us three. Number that operates, it is the same number that operates with himself that gives us three. Is there any number that operates with himself like one operates with one? Look at one operate with one. Is there? I have four. One operates with one. I have four. Is there any number that operates with self that give me uh, two? Three, I mean, two operate with this is four, two, it give me what? Uh, two operate with, I mean, sorry, there's no two there. I'm sorry. Uh, what's that? Mean? Three operate with three. Three operate with three, it give us one. Yes. Three operate with three. Oh, there is no any problem here. Three plus three, yes, which is one. Okay. Another one that there's no any number you can see five operate with five give us five operate with five it give us uh, five times five twenty five twenty five divided by seven I will have um, twenty one yes wow uh, yes twenty five multiplied by five plus five five plus five ten ten plus two that will be two oh that is very correct. Not no number. There is means five. Operate with five. It gives us what? Five in self. Five. Operate with five. It gives us five. Five plus five, ten. Ten plus two. Seventeen. I mean that'll be um twelve divided by seven. Which is gonna be how many times we have one time? Remainder five. Okay, that is very, very important. It means five, operate with five, will give me five. But does it give me three? No. Because this is the question. This is what you are working through. If the number operates in itself and produce three, that is when, and six operate with six, six, operate with six, it will give me zero. Six plus six, 12. 12 plus, that will be 14. 14 divided by two, which is, I mean, by seven, it will give me two remainder zero. Can you see? There is no any number. It means it does not not exist. Not exist. That is the answer. Please just write it there that the, it does not exist. That is all you need to do. That is all you need to do. Now, before I hand this, uh, uh, I think I will need to hand here with what I've done by now. You should be able to understand binary operation, modulo, modulo arithmetic. Would look arithmetic very well. Don't forget you are home with further solutions academy. Further solutions academy.
Share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.